welcome to my little paintbrush. I am Miss Sarah and today we are going to be painting a pineapple. It's one of my favorites and flowers. Everything summer. Um, remember as we are painting together that Miss Sarah's rules still apply even though we aren't in the studio. Okay, be kind to yourself, be patient. Um, this is a learning process and every time I paint this piece, I paint it a little bit different anyway. So we're gonna be learning together. Okay, so grab yourself a couple things. First, you need a pencil. Um, I have a large flat brush, a medium flat, and a detail brush. You can really use any brush as long as you have a large one and a smaller one, okay? And you will want a detail brush. It's a really helpful tool for this painting. All right, first things first. I have my outline here of my pineapple, but I like to give myself a guide for my lines in my pineapple. So just grab a pencil, any pencil works. Um, if you are using a lead pencil, just keep in mind that if you're not really light with it, it's really hard to erase, okay, on your canvas. So what I'm gonna do is just lightly trace even lines. I am I'm kind of eyeballing this, but you, can get a ruler if you're really OCD about this kind of stuff. I get it, okay? If it's something that really concerns you, um, feel free to grab yourself a ruler. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, basically, six blocks here, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and trace my lines coming down now as well. So I have one here. I'm going to try and evenly space them, but they don't always end up that way. Actually, yep, see that? I don't like that. So I'm just going to erase it off of my, this one I want to come over a little more, just like that. Okay, I have another one here. Okay, coming up here. Two. Three. Four. Mm, I think I'll do one more maybe right here in this corner, but I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's what I wanted. Okay, so I like to have about six squares. Now the reason I did this is because my yellow, when I'm painting, will just go right over the top of that, but I can see through because our yellow is very translucent. So I'm pretty light with my tracing. If you want to go darker, if you're worried about painting over it, not being able to see your lines, then you can press a little harder, okay? You're going to be changing the shape of your squares though when you paint them in. They're not going to be boxes unless you choose to do that. My shape's a little different. I just like to have that guide. So let's go ahead now and fill it in, okay? I'm going to grab a large flat brush and my paint palette here, my plate full of paint. I have all my colors spread out on my plate with some white next to it. I like to have my white handy ready to go next to each color. Okay, now my pineapple color is very light to begin with. So I'm going to mix a little bit of yellow with a lot of white. The reason mine is very light is because when I put my lines in with yellow, I want to see the contrast. Okay, I really want to see the difference there. So once you get your color, if you can notice, as I go ahead and paint over my pineapple here, I can still see the lines through my yellow because yellow is extremely translucent with these acrylics. You can just see right through. So I just wasn't too worried about losing that um, trace underneath. So I'm just painting right over the top. And I'll use that as a guide when I'm doing the inside of my shapes. There we go. So we're just going to fill in our pineapple pretty quick. I'm trying to stay in the lines, but I'm not stressing it too much because I have my background going in still, right? So it's all right. You can add more white if you want. Try and keep your brush strokes going up and down and round, in a rounded motion. So you'll notice my brush is curving as I go up because I want my brush strokes to show that my pineapple is round. So I'm gonna try and keep my brush strokes moving 
that direction. There we go. Make sure you have all your edges done. It's gonna go around there. You can change the shape if you want a little bit. Up to you. If you want your pineapple more round or oval, just bring it out. You don't have to follow our outline exactly. I wanted an imperfect outline though. I have fun with that. I like the perfectly imperfect shape there. Okay, once that pineapple is filled in like that, just leave it. Let's just let it dry for a minute and put, let's put our leaves in, okay? I'm gonna keep the same large flat. If you wanna switch to a medium flat, you can. But I like my larger flat because I'm just filling it in pretty quickly. We're putting one layer in. Now our leaves here are phthalo green mixed with some white. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of my white and phthalo green together. See, and you'll see that it makes like a phthalo blue color. Now if I add some yellow to it, we get this awesome green color that I love so much. The more yellow you add, the more limey your color will be, okay? So keep that in mind, depending on the type of green shade you want. I like mine kind of limey. All right, so once you get the shade you like, we're gonna go ahead and fill in these leaves. I like to start from the base of my leaf and paint outward. That way my brush strokes go that direction. Right to the tip. And you notice I'm using the toe of my large brush. That means my brush is standing on its tippy toes. I'm not painting flat with my brush like this. It's standing on at the tip. Okay. There you go. Now, depending on where your flowers are gonna go, I'm not painting all the way down. I'm kind of stopping because my flowers are gonna fill that little area. But if you're gonna do a different kind of shape with your flowers, or if you're doing more than one flower, you'll wanna paint all the way down. It is kind of safer that way anyway, if you just fill in that space. So pull up each of our leaves filled here and do this one too all the way up and you'll get those natural highlights in your leaf because you mix those three colors together you have white phthalo blue and yellow so you should kind of see different shades showing up i love that about mixing those three colors together you just get this natural leafy look. It's awesome. Okay, so I have my my leaves in now. Now I'm going to add some shading to it and this I will switch my brushes brush for. Okay, so I'm going to switch now to a smaller flat to add my shading. Be sure to dip it in some water and I'll show you how we're going to do this. Okay, first things first. You want to go ahead and load your brush up with that green that you did with your leaf before, okay? Load it up. I'm gonna add a little bit of dark to it. I want this slightly darker. With leaves, you just have to have some fun with them because it's all about just adding different shades and it'll look different every time you do it. Okay, so I'm gonna have dark on one side of my brush and I'm gonna load up the other side of my brush with white so my brush looks like this. You see that? Okay, so I have white on one side and green on the other side of my brush. The white's gonna face up as I do this, okay? And you're just gonna start from the base of your leaf and brush up. And you're gonna notice that you have, I'll do it on this side so you can maybe see it really well. You'll notice that you have lighter on top of your leaf and darker on the bottom. See that? Okay, this takes a little bit of practice and honestly, it's preference. If you would rather not do this, you don't have to. Okay, it's just to add extra shade and detail to your leaves. So I'm gonna go through each one. The, the goal is to keep the white facing up. 
Imagine that the sun is touching your pineapple. Where is the light gonna be? Okay, just wanna imagine in your mind where the light's going to touch. It's usually right on the top of your leaf there. So I like to add that light. There we go. We're gonna do it to each one. You remember we're gonna add um, some outlining and stuff too. So don't worry too much if it's not perfect. It doesn't need to be right now. All you're doing right now is getting the different shades in your leaves and having some fun with it. Once you like the color, you just leave it alone. Now this middle leaf, you'll just have to kind of decide where you want that light to show up where you feel like the light will hit it. I put the light on the right side of that leaf. Okay. Let's see, we're gonna keep going here. Kind of gave myself the rule of thumb that the light is on the top. So my white is always facing up. As I paint here. There we go, we'll do the last one here. Go. Now we have our shading and all of our leaves. It looks awesome. And let's let that dry for just a minute. We'll come back to it in a second. Okay, now while it's drying, let's put our background in. So I'm going to use my largest flat brush. Again, make sure it's super clean. My background is a turquoise, really light turquoise. So I'm going to use my large flat to do this and mix my turquoise with a lot of white. I wanted it pretty light, but you can adjust it, okay? If you feel like you want it to a little bit darker, then go ahead and add more turquoise. Okay, as I mix, I'm not really mixing, okay? I say mix, but I'm patting, because I want some white and darker shades of turquoise to show up in my paint. I don't want a flat straight across color, because I love to show um, all the different shades in my brush strokes. If you want a flat color that doesn't have a lot of different shades in your brush stroke, then just mix it really well and it'll give you that result. Okay, but if you notice I have some dark streaks showing up or some light streaks, that's why. I just kind of pat it rather than mixing it. Another rule of thumb is to keep the darker, any darker shades towards the corner of your canvas so it draws your eye to the center. So if you want, you can put a little more turquoise. See if I put a little more turquoise on my, the corner of my brush and brush it in on the edge, then that corner will be darker. So you can do that as well. Or just fill it all in with your turquoise. And don't worry about all that. Okay, your, um, your pineapple's a lot closer to the bottom of your canvas than mine is. It's a little bigger. But as you get towards the bottom, go ahead and lift the bottom of your canvas and paint the bottom part as well. We're gonna, we call it wrapping our canvas. It just helps complete our painting. So you can paint the sides and the bottom and the top turquoise while you're at it. And I'm just getting as close as I can to my pineapple, but I'm not touching it because when we outline it, it'll take care of that space. So I'm not too worried about getting all the way up next to it. Now as we go around our leaves, they're probably the most tricky part. You'll want to use the toe of your brush to go in between the leaves. See that? See how I switched to my toe? the pointy part of my brush. It's like your brush is standing on its tippy toes. Okay, I'm gonna use the toe of my brush to get in between those leaves. There we go, just like that. And it's okay if you have some white showing in between the leaves because this turquoise is light enough 
that it just brightens up your painting to have a little bit of white showing. Or you can just pause this tutorial and take the time to really get up close. Usually when I'm painting, I don't. I just tend to get as close as I can and leave it and let it be bright there. It adds a natural light around my image. All right, we get all the way to the top. Again, paint the top of your canvas while you're at it here. Okay, we go around each one. I know some artists are very um, picky about how close they get to their image. So, like I said, you can pause it and really get close to all these little areas in between the leaves if you want. But you will be outlining and it's going to fill in that space later on. There we go. Okay. Make sure I got all of that. Looks good. Okay, we have our background in, so I'm going to rinse my brush. Really good here. And our pineapple should be dry now. We should be pretty good to go. So now that my pineapple's dry, I'm going to go ahead and outline it. Okay. So let's get our detail brush. It's our smallest brush. And load it up just with our yellow. It's not mixed with white. Okay, it's just yellow. And the first thing we're going to do is go around our pineapple. Now, I'm not going to do a straight line. What I did with this pineapple is, remember all the tracing you did before? You're going to follow those squares. Instead of doing a straight line down, we're going to allow our brush to be free as we go around. If that means that it's not a perfect, perfectly round uh, pineapple, awesome. Okay, you're just going to follow those squares around and let it be. Let your brush lay where it wants to go. I just love the, the fun detail it gives our painting to do that. I'm just gonna go all the way around with that yellow. And the other thing that's fun about this is you don't have to be really light with your hand on your outlining. You can be heavy handed and let, let those um, lines be a little thicker. And that's awesome. So I didn't have to really slow down a whole lot. I just kind of let my brush go. It's like that. Okay, and now for the, the detail on the inside of our pineapple. Here's what we're gonna do. We are going to curve all of our brush strokes, okay? So we'll start here at the bottom, and you'll notice my line here is curved, just like that. See, I'm curving it. Rather than doing a straight line across, it's almost like a smiley face, right? You're gonna curve those lines. Okay, so I'm going to curve this one, just like that. You're you can follow your line, but you're going to curve your brush as you go. All the way across, we're just curving it, and again, you're just being kind of heavy-handed with your brush. You're not worrying too much about whether or not you're really light, okay? You're just going to get that line on there all the way across, just like that, okay, there we go, and keep curving it, giving it that smile, and not everyone, every curve has to be the same, some of them can be thicker than others, the imperfections of this pineapple make it fun. 
Okay, I'm gonna go across here. There we go. And now you just have to go the opposite direction. <laughs> so you're gonna do the same thing, only you're gonna curve to the side. See that? Just curve your brush to the side as you go. Let's see. One here in the corner. One thing I love is the lines don't always match up perfectly. That really makes it fun too. Gives it a little more character. We're gonna curve all across here as well. Keep your brush moving, curving to the side. So you're doing a sideways smiley all the way across. Keep loading your brush. This yellow, you want it pretty thick on your brush. Because it's translucent, you want a good amount on your brush to be able to get that effect. There we go. And yes, you can curve the other direction if you want to. All the way up. I like to finish my pineapple. That way I have a lot more freedom of where my flowers are gonna go. So I finish it. It's like that. Look how awesome. I love it. Okay, so let's rinse our brush. Really good there. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started on our flowers. These are so fun. I love doing these flowers. You may have done them with us before. They're some of our favorites to do because they're super doable and they're really pretty. You're gonna wanna get a medium flat brush or a number six round brush to do these flowers, okay? Any medium brush of some kind and kind of decide where you want your flowers to lie. I really wanted to have three on mine and I, my center flower is higher than my other two flowers, okay? My other two flowers come right below my last leaf, right there, okay? My center one's right above. So first things first, let's just load up our brush with some white, okay? Let's load it up with white. So I have my medium flat here I've got some white on it, okay? I'm just gonna kind of decide where I want the center of my flowers to be. So I'm gonna put one there. That's my center for that one. I'm gonna come over to the other side of my leaf, put one there. You can kind of see it's in the center of my, or right on the bottom of my last leaf. And then my other one is gonna be right in between these two leaves, okay? So now I know where I want them to go. All right, so I'm gonna now leave that white on my brush. Let's load it up with some pink, like that. Mostly white though, mostly white for this layer. Okay, and I'm gonna start from the center and float my little petals with the white facing up. Now, to do this, you want to use your wrist, okay, and make yourself a rainbow shape. See that? A rainbow shape. I'm going to do three of them. One, two, one more here. Three. So I have three rainbow shapes there. And then I'm going to build on it. So right here in the center of those rainbow shapes, I'm going to make another one to start. And I'm just going to follow it around. And these flowers can get as big as you want them. Just keep going and they can get bigger and bigger. Okay. You kind of have to decide when you want to stop. You're thinking, okay, that's as big as I want to go. Right? And we're going to try and keep it round if possible. I want your shape to be round. So that's about as big as I want that one. When you see it looks kind of crazy right now, 
it does at first, but then you build on it in a minute. This is just our first shape. So let's go over here and do our other one. Do our first leaves around, or petals, sorry, not leaves. And we'll build on it. Let's do a couple more. You just want to keep your brush going around in that direction. All the way around. And decide how big you want those flowers to get. Trying to keep that shape, right? You don't want it be too lopsy. All right, there you go. So we kind of have our shape now. We know where we want our flowers to go. Okay, we're just gonna let it sit there for a minute. I'm rinsing my brush because I'm gonna do my center flower now. Here we go, my center is right here. It's mostly yellow. It's mostly white with a little bit of yellow, right? But we're gonna go ahead and add some yellow to our brush anyway. So do those little petals around. Let's build on them. Make this one a little higher than the other flowers. There we go. This one's in between. bigger petals here all the way around okay there we go so we have our three flowers we know where we want them to be okay I'm gonna rinse my brush now okay let's make sure these have sat for just a second you don't want them super wet before you go back into it but they need another layer. So once you feel like, okay, I think they're good enough for another layer, your second layer should really start to show up. And on my second layer, I start from the outside and come in with my white facing out. Okay, just like that. And go all the way around. The idea is to just keep your hand moving in that rainbow shape motion. Okay. And keep your brush loaded with that white on one side and pink on the other. It's really important you keep that loaded so you don't lose that shape. You can always come in with your detail brush later and add a little more if you want. So don't panic. If you feel like, oh no, I've lost it. You didn't. You can't lose it completely. It's okay. Now we'll come back in a minute and add more white to it. Okay. I'm going to do my center, keep it moving around, every time you do this you'll notice your flower shapes a little bit different and faces another direction and that's what makes these so fun. All right, awesome. Let's do our center one. We're going to put some white on one end, one corner yellow on the other. Start from the outside with this one this time. Come all the way around. There we go. With this yellow you really have to make sure you have enough white on your brush for this to really pop. We'll do the center ones. go and then the center this little bitty area here 
keep, just keep your brush moving and you'll naturally get that flower shape. Okay. And we'll come back in a minute and add other little details to our flower. Let's just let them dry a second. And while it's drying, we're gonna add some leaves. So I'm gonna grab my detail brush now. It's a little tiny detail brush, okay? And first, while the flowers are just taking a minute, let's add some highlights to our leaves up here. So go ahead and load your brush with some white and just go right along the top part of your leaf and give it a, a light highlight. Just give it that brush stroke right across, just like that. We're gonna put yellow over it in a minute. Okay, this is just so that yellow really shows up for us. Right along there, right along the top of this one. And a little bit there. Okay. Nice. All right, rinse your brush. Let's go ahead and add some leaves now. So all the leaves around our flowers are dark phalo. Okay. So you want to use just this dark phalo here. Um, if you want to mix with a little white, you can. And I'm not really going to. I'm going to leave it dark. Okay. So I have dark there. And you can kind of decide where you want these leaves to go. Let's start with the one right here. That way you can kind of warm up and it, it's a nice one because it starts right between your two flowers. You have your yellow flower and your pink flower. And you're going to start right there in the middle and give yourself a little stroke here. One little line, just like that. And then create your leaves by pointing and pressing down with your brush. See how it made that natural leaf there? So you're gonna press, point, and press with your brush. I'm gonna do two here, point and press. You can add as many little petals as you want. Point and press. I think I added one more than I have on my painting. That's okay. You can add as many as you want to fill. The idea is to fill the space. So we have one there. And then right here along the edge of our pineapple, I'm gonna create a leaf first. So just paint yourself a little leaf. The way we teach our artists to paint leaves is you want to do a smiley and a frowny on top of each other to create a leaf. See that? And then fill it in with your chosen color. So I have a leaf there. If you want to brighten it up, you can. If you want it to stand out, just put some white on your brush and you can brighten it up. So you can change the shading of your leaves if you want. I kind of stay pretty dark on mine. Okay. So right here in the center, we have another leaf right there gonna shape out a leaf here. See, we have a smiley and a frowny and you're gonna fill it in. Just like that. Yep. And then right over here we have another one. It's shaped, it's going the opposite direction. So we're doing smiley and a frowny there. Kind of peeking out. Again, we're just filling space. So anywhere you want to add leaf, go for it. I think I'm going to put one more just right here, just to fill that space. We have a smiley and a frowny there. Okay. And then right over here, we have another little one poking out. Smiley and a frowny, you fill it in. Then right over here on the side of our rose, or flower, whatever kind of flower you're doing, we have another one. Just 
smiley in a frowny shape. Fill that one in. Add some white to that leaf, just to brighten it up there, since it's on its lonesome. Again, you can mix colors and do different shades of leaves. I love doing leaves because they're so versatile. You can just have fun with them and shade them. Different, different shades of green. And then we have one more right up here, coming away from our rose flower. Just peeking out here again to fill the space so you just really want to try and balance everything out okay on this side you see we have some space here that needs to be filled so we're going to add this little leaf coming out here a little twig and give it those leaves press just like that press Add as many as you want, all the way up to your flower. There you go. So fun. All right, there's one there. We're gonna add one right here in between these roses, just kind of coming down there to fill in that space gonna fix that one right there you want it kind of curved a little more there we go and then we're gonna do the same thing you're just gonna press with your brush press we're gonna go all the way up try and keep it in like a triangle shape as you go up and you can go right over your rows if you want to Want to fill that in. Okay, we have another one right here, right here in between the rows. Add those little leaf petals all the way up. We're going to add some highlights in a minute. First, we just want to fill the space up. Okay. There, and then we have one right over here just coming right in between these roses falling on our pineapple let's add our little leaf here pressing as we go when you press like that with your brush it gives it a natural leaf shape like it wasn't forced it just kind of lays that way just like that Okay, let's add, see this space here needs something, right? So, let's see, we're going to come right up here and add a little leaf coming up right between these two. Smiley and a frowny. Just fill that in. Just like that. Good. Fill it in. There we go. Awesome. Okay, before you rinse your brush, just put a little bit of white here on the very tip of it. Okay, and go ahead and add a little bit of light to your leaves. You're just going to put a little brush stroke on those little tiny leaves you just did. It just adds a little bit of light to your painting. And light does wonders for our, our art to really help it stand out. I'm just gonna add a little bit of light there. Go up here. Okay. Now, if you don't want to, you don't have to. That's kind of a preference thing, but I love it. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my brush really well and put some yellow on it, just straight yellow. Okay, not mixed with white. And you're gonna come on up here 
to where you did those white strokes in your leaves before. And we're just gonna add that yellow right on top of those white highlights. And you'll see that it really stands out. It really pops, right? Okay, just like that. Just add a little bit of yellow to it. And then, while I have yellow on my brush, let's go back to our yellow flower. And we're just going to go around the yellow, wherever you want that yellow to stand out. I'm making those rainbow smiley shapes, okay? around my yellow, wherever I want it to really stand out away from the white. See that? Okay. Oop, didn't mean to put that much on there. Okay. And then take some yellow and just dot the center. So that center is really obvious. Rinse your brush. Let's do the same with our pink roses. So I'm going to put some just pink on my detail brush. We're gonna go right around our pink roses wherever you want that pink to stand out away from the white. And you'll notice when you do this that your roses pop a little more. They take a little bit more of shape. All right? And then put your little bit of pink here in the center. Let's do that here on as well. Go around wherever you want that pink to stand out. There you go. And then put some pink on the center. Dot it there. Awesome. All right, guys, you're just about done. Let's let our flowers dry for a second and outline our leaves. So I'm gonna put some of our dark phalo green that's not mixed with white. Okay, we're gonna first outline. I like to start here and work my way around. So if you would like, you can outline your leaves here really quick. It just kind of brings it all together with your darker leaves balances it out and helps those leaves pop. Just make sure you have enough water mixed with your paint because you should be able to just do one nice long stroke with your detail brush. Should be able to. If you can't, it's probably because you don't have enough water. Quickly go around here. I'm starting from the top and working my way around. There we go. Just follow that light outline. There we go all the way up. Here, come to a point if you can with your brush. This is good practice for detail work and learning that brush pressure. It's a tricky thing for our artists to learn. It takes a lot of practice. And do this last little one here. All right. We've just about finished. Let's just do our highlighting on our pineapple. So rinse your brush really well. Make sure it's super clean. And we need some clean white. So hopefully you can find yourself some clean white for this highlighting. Okay, so the highlighting, you're just gonna go right along that triangle shape you have already on your pineapple. And you're gonna make a triangle shape with your detail brush. So we're gonna go just like that. Follow your triangle. Up and down, just follow your lines only with white, just at the top. It just adds so much, it makes it fun. I love it. I'm gonna go all the way around here, it gives it that texture. There you go. Just a quick triangle. 
With the smaller squares, you can just do one triangle if you want to, or what, not one triangle, one line, you know, to give it that light without worrying too much. Okay, once you do that, we're just gonna flip our brush around. Use the back of your brush to give yourself a white chocolate chip shape and do a couple little dots in the center of your flowers. Put a couple little white dots there. Give them some sparkle. How fun is that? I love it. You guys did it. Let's sign our name because we are so proud of that work. That is awesome. I cannot wait to see your masterpieces. Um, I'm gonna use my dark phalo to sign my name. Pick your favorite color. You have a lot on your plate, right? Pick your favorite color and a, a fun spot. I like to follow my image somewhere. So I'm gonna sign it right over here in this corner. Sarah, right there, Ooh. turn around. There we have it. Thank you for painting with me today, you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.